Welcome back, the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. My name is Wayne. Kyle's back there fiddling with the truck. And today, what we're doing is we're working. What year is this thing? 73. We're working on a 73 Freightliner. White Freightliner. Look at that, huh? And uh, we're going to run a rack on it, see if we can't make it run a little bit better for him. He's having an issue where it's smoking out of the passenger side, ain't it? Yep. Smoking and drooling. Yeah, and we're gonna see if we can't clear it up. I, I looked at it briefly at the show for him, and it seemed like it was the, like the rack was out of balance side to side. So we're gonna try to uh, see if we can't tidy that up, make it a little bit more balanced for him, and hopefully clear up that smoking issue. Uh, worst case, we may have to pop an injector or two out of it. We're gonna investigate that when we get there, but. Let's see what we got. Let's dig in. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I know, me too. We'll, uh, we'll get the valve covers off and get a look and see what the rack looks like. At that block, I'll just put a fuse in. So actually guys, it's quite to my surprise, the rack on this truck is beautifully set. Somebody did an absolutely wonderful job at it. The only thing I found was these back three cylinders over on this side were these were all loose when the rack was at full fuel. And he's complaining his jakes didn't work and we found the wire broken off. here so we put a new end on it I think we're probably gonna have to get a little bit more Got it like a candy store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it seems good oh yeah where'd you take it I went way up to town <laughs> and then take it all the way down Sony Hill yep perfect I can't do the transmission and the jake and how much smoother it is now. Is it quieter in the cab? I think it is. But it, like starting, it starts like this does now. As soon as you hit the button, it's running. You know, it wasn't- It used to happen. fight, it used to fight with it? When you start it? Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't it fire wouldn't, right up? No. Really? No. Huh. Never has. The only time it would start good is if it was hot. Yeah. So if it was hot, you ran out, started it, it'd take right off. Mm -hmm. Even in here, in 50 degrees, it wouldn't just fire. Huh. So. Yeah, this thing, you know, it starts hard, it starts hard when it's cold. Mm -hmm. If it's 60 degrees, you bump the bottom. Oh yeah, like half a revolution they run, yeah. Yeah, Detroit's usually start pretty good. Like, warm. <laughs> so, I think what we're gonna do now We're gonna fire it up and see if I can't get them jakes working like in cab, you know, like or like with the covers off, you know. Yeah. If I, mean, I at least if I can mechanically if I figure out that they're good, then you could do the cab side later, you know. But yeah. like, if we got it, so I just want to make sure. Fire it up and push it and see if see if they actually. when if they operate when you push on the valve. No, I want to jump it with power. I want to make sure right, so that gonna go. the electromechanical side on this end is good. Um, which, which we're not, I don't think, you're not going to be able to do that from the cab. What's that? Jump it. We got to jump it at the buffer switch because the truck's going to be idling, so it's not going to be on the buffer switch. You know what I mean? You got a piece over here, James. Uh, well, I got to get power to it, though. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying, yeah, I'll pull, I'll pull power off the alternator or something here. You know what I mean? And then just go straight to the, to the buffer switch. Yeah. Gotcha. So what we're doing here, fellas, is trying to figure out I can't get power off either of these lugs on the alternator have nothing going to them. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Either I just have a bad connection or I don't know. Whatever, but it's not here for that, so. What it is here for, though, is you, know, you gotta get power from the cab and then try to jump these solenoids to see if anything happens.
That side works. Okay. So, fire it up. All clear? Yep. So our issue is twofold. This solenoid is just blowing oil out of it. Yeah. So channel locks, please. We're gonna try to tighten that solenoid. And if it's not that, it needs an O-ring. You want that saga? No, it's different style solenoids. These are the oh. old style, where it's just got a tin disc. Oh. This is the actual oh. thing that moves here. Tight. Like this. Oh, there's the outer collar. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's not. There's a torch back on that. Tight. Or just click. <laughs> just click. You didn't hear it. <laughs> Fire it up. And see if that oh. changes anything. I, I I suspect it needs an O-ring, but I might be surprised. All right. Clear. Yep. <laughs> Perfect, so I'm confident now this side's gonna be all right. So once you wire in the cab, you'll have four anyway. <laughs> Some's better than none. Yeah. These are old style Jake's too. If you're wondering how I know that. What's the part that holds up the rockers? Uh, what you call them? What, I don't know what these, that means. These towers in the back. The two towers have the shaft going through them with the rockers right on. Oh, the trunnions. So does this have the same style of trunnions as what's on Dad's, or is this the old style? No, this is going to be the old style. So they're the ones that are shorter. They're not shorter. They just don't they're have as have much a, support on the top for the J head. They have a smaller tolerance. Yes, they, they have a bigger tolerance. So you can't adjust it as right, right. You can't so get. You're not supposed to get these as tight. As what was on 
No, actually, the ones we pulled off at 671 yesterday are newer than these. But they're the same. But they're the same style. Yes, trunnions. trunnions. Yep, yep. So if you look at these, you were saying like, oh, we could have stole those, but they were different. If you look at these jigs, they're stamp model 71. They're not stamp 7192. So these were these are probably original to this engine. Could original you, to this truck. Could you not put these on a 92? No, you can. They're the same. As far as I know, these are the exact same. The only thing ever changes is a bridge. But but Jacobs, the 92s weren't out yet. Yeah. So there's no reason to stamp so a model 7192. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so let's do the same thing on the other side. And obviously they made a few minor... Jakes are hooked together electronically. Yeah. So I individually tested one over there, but I didn't individually test both. You know, theoretically we tested the entire engine, so we're gonna Yeah, because it should have backfed. Right. Kind of it's gonna together. backfeed through the line. To so this then the side. question becomes where's the wire broke from here to there? Because when you took up that side, this side wasn't doing anything. Really? I didn't hear it. Maybe it was. Of course, we didn't watch it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, let's see here. Where does that wire go? Is it going into the... Yeah, it goes right into the valve cover. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, when you put power to this, you should have back then been running those, right? Yeah. And of course, this one, the screw is facing down. Oh no, here we go. Sunny. Okay. Because, like, realistically, that should have shut the motor off. All right, you can fire it back up. Yeah, because I mean, as soon as you touched it over there, they're all connected. It should have backfed through everything. And right. Home, right? Yeah. I mean, they may not be strong enough to do that on a, I mean, who knows? All right, we'll fire it up. Yep. Man. This side is doing nothing. So the only other thing we can do is I can check the clearance. But I can tell you right now that clearance ain't ain't that far off. Yeah. So you're, putting power, you're putting power to it, it's not even actually. You no, know, it is. It is. And you can hear it. But it ain't enough. The problem is that see that when the injector lobe comes up, the Jake's supposed to have oil pressure held inside of it. So when it comes up, it pushes on that piston that's all, that's under the or above the injector rocker, and in turn, at that time, it's supposed to push down this piston because the oil is locked inside, and and it's not there's it's losing pressure somewhere. You know what I mean? But there's no like visible big leaks or anything, so it leads me to believe it needs kits. You know? Yeah. So we figured this freaking yeah, thing out. Uh, Jake's are working mint. All, all we did was we put power in the buffer switch and I revved it up a little bit and then they come right on. They just need a little bit more oil pressure. I kind of forgot 71's idle, like very, very low oil pressure. And, and it really isn't enough for Jake to actuate most of the time unless it's like brand new, so. 
we're good. I think he's just gonna wire in the truck side and, and she's gonna be a ripper, so. Pretty pumped. We're gonna butt, button it up and then see if the smoke issue's any better. Dude, this is different. Wow. I never climbed up in a shaker before. He's all freaking pumped up. Does it bleed air down pretty quick? This thing's nice in here. I wonder if it's out wiper, because that wiper's not working. Mmm. Frickin' air wipers, man. He's like all sorts of happy with that thing. That would be cool. That's, that's fucking awesome. Can you see? does this one go up that hill? As far as... Power-wise. It's pretty good. I see what you mean by the radio box. That thing is slick, dude. right yours got no power steering i'm like man why you got a yarn on that so much <laughs> that's why i got the fucking suicide yeah let's see what's all that the frost oh does that work yep slick Yep. 
he ain't coming back. He'd be out cruising. Now we go to like shows and stuff when it's cold out, Mom will ride with me because this thing, the heat burns. Yeah. They ain't fucking perfect, but. Some heat's better than no heat. Amen. I, uh, I had to put a new heater core in that green pea because I'm sure I'll have to do it in cab over too, but. Yeah, Dad's truck has nothing. Yeah, that's what he was saying. He took all that shit out. steps are so far from the door it's like wildly different than my Pete Split second. I wonder if that wire going from here. It's got to break in it or something. Rev it.
hmm it's got it it's weird it's like either that or the buffer ain't working but the buffer worked mint when we were down there so there's really no difference yeah no i i'm guessing it's probably it's got to be that wire is busted i think that's the issue you want to take it you want to take it for another loop back up the hill see if the smoke's any better So that's gonna do it for this video, fellas. I don't know if you could tell coming down a hill in, in Kyle's truck uh, that the jig brake came on for a split second. And what I think is going on is I think that wire's broken for that goes from the cab down to the buffer switch. Because when we had the cab up, we could make that work whenever we wanted to put power to buffer switch, even free revenue work great. I initially thought, said that those jakes needed kits and then we got looking at it, I think the camera's off or whatever, but we got looking at it and I got thinking about it and I totally forgot it, so we used to work on it at 92. I totally forgot them 71s don't make no damn oil pressure at idle, so the jakes are just simply not gonna work at that low of uh, oil pressure. So uh, that's why they weren't coming on half of them at, at idle. As soon as you rev that thing, they come right on, no issue, you know, about stall the motor, so they work pretty good. Kyle's gonna get some wiring up in that cab and, and, and get that done and wiring the switch and stuff because none of that's in the cab and he'll be all set. He's, he's real happy. It seemed like we really cleaned up smoke for him, so that's good. Kyle, if you watch us, uh, you know, thanks for having me out there. It's a blast. I had, I had a great time working with you, bud. We'll have to do that again and hopefully I'll see you at Mukunji. So, uh, another thing we got here, I don't know if I did any recording or not, but we went parts hunting at that place. The motor we got the rockers off of for Jim's truck was a 671 It had a full kit of jakes on it and the dude sold them to me. So I was able to add this thing to the hoard, another tall aluminum cover, you know. They're getting hard to find, so I was really pumped to have that. Thanks for taking me down there, Kyle. And uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, you guys make this channel what it is and you know, we appreciate it here because the more you watch and like and comment, and the more I keep doing this stuff and I absolutely love doing it and I love bringing it to you, so. Thanks for watching. Do still have some surprises in the works for this year, so stay tuned. I'm really hoping to take it to the next level this year. Check out our website, old2stroker.com, if you haven't already. Uh, merch is coming. I'm working on it. I know. I know you think I'm dragging my feet, but I promise you, it's coming. If it ain't out yet, it's coming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.